Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to reduce the draw calls in our Android project. Um, if you're new to here, this is a project, an ArcVis project we are creating to publish specifically for Android. And probably if you want to, you can go ahead and um, replicate everything and publish it for iOS as well. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be publishing the uh, project for Play Store. So in the uh, console command, if you type in stat RHI, you're going to see you're going to see um, the draw primitive calls is at 654 um, almost. This is a great number. Don't get me wrong. I'm just going to be teaching you how to reduce that. If you're having 600, 700, even a thousand, even sometimes 2000 draw calls, that's not a bad thing to be specific. Um, but we are going to be reducing that. But before doing that, I'm going to be teaching you some stuff about calling in Unreal Engine. So what is calling? I'm going to be um, showing that to you just a second if we type in stat RHI again and if we type in freeze rendering rendering frozen you can see that these here all the assets here are not being rendered into the scene which means that the render is only rendering what you are seeing in the screen um, and also, if we come here, something like here, and let me freeze rendering and freeze rendering once again, you can see that, um, yeah, even the roof is not rendered because we are not seeing it. And um, there are probably, I mean, it wasn't enough to just a second presenting so if I um, add a cube to my scene something like really really large so I am I'm not seeing what's behind the um, the cube right so freeze rendering So, um, okay, the frozen calling is working. It's uh, when you don't, when you're looking at something, what's behind you is not going to be rendered. But the occlusion calling is not being used. We can activate that by going into the rendering tab uh, and maybe type in occlusion. Calling is working. Okay, the occlusion calling is working. Um, maybe it's not as aggressive, but um, in most cases, it's like when you don't see something, when there's something behind a wall or anything, uh, it's not going to be anything behind the wall is not going to be visible but it's a pretty pretty um, costly process to do the first one calling is not bad it's not bad at all but the occlusion calling is really really expensive so you shouldn't really uh, be expecting that from the engine to be doing a lot if at some points it occludes some meshes here and there which are behind the wall that you can't really see behind it but most of the times if it's occluding something that's going to be an exp expensive really expensive procedure so you wouldn't really want that so what to do instead this is where instancing comes on the paper but before that i mean this is really a complicated topic and I really want to shed light as much as possible and as in the shortest amount of time possible but it's not something that I can just easily go ahead and explain everything just like that you have to go through a lot of uh, calling methods 
you have to go through uh, into level streaming if you want to be like an expert in it if you want to if you have a really huge area I mean the area I have right now is not huge at all you know please rendering Um, but if you are having a villa, a really huge villa with a lot of floors, a lot of rooms, a lot of different highly detailed um, static meshes, a lot of details all over the world, the first thing that you're going to be needing to think about is to um, create level streaming. So it's like when you are in this room, the other rooms not even streamed in, they're not even... Uh, they don't even exist in the memory, you know? So when you go out of this uh, this room and go into the corridor, then uh, this level gets streamed out and the other level, the other room gets loaded or streamed in. Level streaming is really important. It's like the first step that you have to take if you are having a lot of meshes a huge number of draw calls. If you're facing that problem, level streaming is the number one solution for you. After that, for each object, we have something called draw distance. So desired max draw distance is 400, let me show you. So there's no couch there, if, as you can see. But if I get close to it, it just pops in. It's not getting rendered right now, but it is getting rendered right now. So it's something manual. It's not expensive at all. It's actually really cheap. It's the cheapest method of um, calling everything out. So it's something you should be using if you're having a lot of objects in your scene. After that, here comes the pre-computed visibility volume. You can just go ahead and drag it into the scene and um, it will just work. Then you have to bake the lighting once and then you're, you are going to be having a lot of cells. Not going into the console commands and any everything, but this is uh, what you need to know about it. And after pre-computed visibility, there's no, literally, there's no cheap way of occluding things out, only frosting calling and occlusion calling, which are expensive. But we have another thing, another method, which is something new in Unreal Engine 5, which is instancing. So instancing means that if we have one, two, three, four, five, six chairs with two, uh, three draw calls each, instead of having to render 18 draw calls for these six chairs, we can just instance them out and draw three cells all together, which is perfect, right? It can reduce the draw calls uh, drastically, which is ideal for us. But there's a catch here. I mean, they're uh, claiming that this uh, instancing thing is kind of smart and it really knows where you are looking at and it knows which asset to render and which asset to not render but you need to pay attention that if you are looking at the scene from this angle you don't need all the static meshes here to be rendered right so what if we have a couch here and we have another one here and if you look at this couch, what happens to this couch? Sometimes it gets rendered because the system is not perfect, but sometimes it can, it can understand that um, the couch is just an instance and it's not being rendered, it's not being visible in the screen, it should be, shouldn't be rendered. So, to, so this is the error of the system. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it can easily make your performance worse but you can solve it somehow 
So just go ahead and probably control Alt and grab everything you see on the screen or in front of you from different angles and then instance them all together. So how do you instance them? When you um, select everything that's in front of you, you go ahead in the actor, merge actors, we have uh, 54 actors selected right now and batch. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm just going to uh, instance everything all together so you can see uh, it in action. Okay, so as you can see, the lighting is gone for all the assets that are instanced all together. So it's kind of a smart instancing if an asset can be instanced with something else, it will uh, dynamically get instanced, which is pretty easy to do. You couldn't do it in Unreal Engine 4. In Unreal Engine 4. So the lighting is gone. You have to go ahead and bake the lighting once again after doing all of these steps. Um, but let me see, um, let me show you the stat RHI as you can see, the draw calls is less than 600. It was 680 uh, something. I don't know. It's maybe le uh, 100 draw calls less, which is awesome. If you have 3,000 draw calls in one room, you could easily, easily reduce it to something like 1,000 draw calls, which is awesome. Uh, and then don't forget to go ahead and uh, bake the lighting, build lighting, or if you're using CPU light mask, this one, uh, build lighting only. And um, this is all I wanted to tell you. Just make sure that you know all this stuff. Just make sure that you go ahead and research a, a little bit about level streaming. I'm not going to be uh, creating any level streaming because all I have right now is just one room and uh, an HDRI image and that's pretty much it. So I don't really need to use any level streaming, any um, draw distance, cottage or anything like that, but you may uh, need to do that. So you just go ahead and research a little bit of level streaming about draw distance, about pre-computed visibility, uh, and probably, probably, sometimes it can help, sometimes it can't if you are really really cpu bound sometimes it can help uh, increase your performance just by a little bit by uh, disabling the occlusion calling because this is uh, really heavy on cpu so disabling it might work making them really really um, aggressive might work that's completely up to you just play around with everything and uh, find your sweet spot in all the things I've just explained to you. Um, and this is everything I wanted to explain and tell you about this project at the moment. And I hope it helps. And if it did help, please hit that like button and have a great day. Bye.